So let's say you have a text file with confidential information like your IP address, your passwords or anything like that. This is where the shared command comes in. So basically what it does is that it securely deletes your files by overwriting the contents. Right. So let's say for example, uh, your file contains IP address, your passwords or anything like that. What the shared command will do is that it will first randomize all of that data, make it into random characters so that if anybody tries to hack you, they won't know exactly uh, what the information was. So this is an example of how the shared command is supposed to work. So I have a file called confidential.txt. If I open it, I have a bunch of IP addresses, a bunch of passwords, and a bunch of confidential information. Okay, let me just exit. Now, if I run the shared command, this is how it's supposed to look. So let's say, for example, somebody tries to hack you, somebody tries to access your laptop, whatever it is, and tries to recover the file, they will just meet by a bunch of random characters. So it's very useful for somebody working in a uh, sensitive field. Let's say you're working in finance, you're working in IT, where you want to delete a file, but it contains confidential information. This is one way that you can make sure that when you delete a file, you securely delete the file. They at least died painlessly? To shreds, you say. Well, how is his wife holding up? To shreds, you say.